Hey y'all, Professor Wyman here, and I'm going to do the coding for variables that there's a correct answer for, um, for questions where you have a correct answer. So I know some of you have surveys where um, you're going to give them different options and there is a correct answer and then one or more incorrect answers. So I'm using the Stroop, um, the Stroop example that we used in class. And so I have the questions set up here individually so that I can time each question that was spent on here. Um, but you can see that this is the congruent question. So in our Stroop task, this is where um, we identified how long it took participants to identify the correct color um, when the ink of that color matched. So this is a red word with red ink. So the correct answer should be red. <clears throat> so again, for coding your questions in Qualtrics, I'm gonna click on the question. And then I'm going to go down to, in my editing choices here, I'm gonna scroll down to recode values. And then it's set up here, it's typically gonna look something like this. It might be out of order. Again, um, in the previous video, I talked about how if you have multiple different choices and you end up deleting some of them, it's gonna throw off your numbers. It's typically gonna be starting at one and going up. Um, so I'm going to recode these values and I had to, I had to recode them because I, they were already set correctly. So I'm just going to pretend that wasn't there. I'm going to recode them. <laughs> so now, um, I want my only one that gets a point because that's correct. I want the only one that gets a point to be red. So again, I'm trying to say that if they select red, that's the right answer. And so they're going to get a point here. And then if they selected orange, green, blue, or purple, that's going to be an incorrect answer. And so I'm going to um, click on that recoding values, and I'm going to say red is 1, orange is 0, green is 0, blue is 0, purple is 0. So they're going to get 0 points for that. And then when I close it, and again, I can check this now that I've gone over here, it's going to be correct. And the same thing for the rest of them. So that's how you would go through and change it so that when you export your data, that variable column is going to have a one for a red, and then it'll have a zero for every other, um, every other category. Uh, and so that, again, is how you code for correct values. So you do this for only questions if there is a correct answer, which does not fit all of your studies. So again, this is only for people that have correct answers that they need to code for.